The Personification of Science, from the book The Science of Sciences and the Science in Sciences, available at www.africancreationenergy.com. At the Nature Observation Learning Laboratory, abbreviated NOLL or NOL, there are four scientists and four mathematicians who work together on an ongoing project of creation, discovery, innovation, problem solving, and development. The four scientists and four mathematicians at NOL are responsible for all the world's knowledge and all the world's inventions. When they work together in unity, harmony, and in order, then they are very efficient and productive. However, out of order and not in unity, their personalities lead to an accumulation of unresolved problems and total dysfunction. Scientist Tina Asia Ray, who represents the experiences of science, is responsible for speaking and acting out everything that she experiences, everything that she sees, hears, smells, tastes, and touches. She is an excellent communicator and speaks every language, including non-verbal languages like body language and facial expressions. She only reports her experiences and never reports her thoughts or her feelings. Mathematician Sam Matimasi Anansie, who represents the comprehension of science, is responsible for recording and capturing everything that is communicated by the scientist Tina Asia Ray. He is very observant and an excellent listener. He comprehends every form of communication and has an excellent memory. He creates metaphors, similes, and analogies which aid in comprehension. Scientist Ra'amon Kwame Nabi, who represents the theories of science, is responsible for interpreting and translating all of the information into writing that he receives from mathematician Sam Matimasi Anansie. He is a very fast writer and a creative interpreter as he comes up with various signs, symbols, diagrams, and shapes to represent the information communicated to him in written or other format. Mathematician Tasha Asata Tahira, who represents the analysis of science, is responsible for analyzing and questioning all of the reports delivered to her by scientist Ramon Kwame Nabi. She is very inquisitive, skeptical, and very probing with her questioning. In addition to being very inquisitive, she has extremely strong inductive reasoning skills and thus is able to infer the implications of the information reported to her. Her reports contain the answers to her questions and the inductive implications of those answers. Scientist Nina Narnett Kanef, who represents the hypothesis of science, is responsible for receiving the reports from mathematician Tasha Asata Tahira and speculating, guessing, and generating hypotheses which can serve as explanations for the information reported to her. She is very intuitive, opinionated, and emotional, but she uses logic and reason to determine which of her feelings is the best possible explanation. She reports her desires and hopes about her explanatory hypothesis. Mathematician Tanan Osaidan Tamir, who represents the synthesis of science, is responsible for synthesizing, putting together, or building ways to experimentally test scientist Nina Narnett Kanef's hypothesis. He has a sound sense of deductive reasoning and is very creative. He combines his knowledge of the rational and empirical world to create models and methods which could accurately test hypotheses. Scientist Adam Kepri Hemwadua, who represents the experiments of science, is responsible for performing experiments to test hypotheses using the models and methods developed by mathematician Tanan Osaidan Tamir. He is a skillful technician and practitioner without emotion or bias. He prefers the control of laboratory experiments, but also enjoys conducting field experiments. Mathematician Tara Nainsapo Tawaret, who represents the results of science, is responsible for reviewing the consequences and outcomes of the experiments performed by scientist Adam Kepri Himadua and reporting the results and conclusions of the experiment to scientist Tina Azareye. Her reports are very decisive, definite, and conclusive. She determines what information is right or wrong, true or false. One day at NAL, on the first day of autumn, the scientists who stood on the circle called Circumstance and the mathematicians who stood on the square decided that they would no longer work together. The scientists decided they would work outside the building and the mathematicians decided to work inside of the building. Throughout autumn and winter, the scientists continued to work and operate without thinking and attempted to gain knowledge by trial and error. This trial and error method used by the scientists led to several of the scientists being injured and hurt in many experimental accidents. Likewise, throughout autumn and winter, the mathematician continued to think and speculate, coming up with bizarre concepts that seemed to have no relevance in the real world. In the spring of that year, Fatahu Obwadi, the founder of NOL, 
learned of the disagreement between the scientists and mathematicians and went to Noel in hopes to get the two groups to settle their differences and to work together as a unit as before. Upon hearing of Patahu Obwadi's arrival and listening to his words, the scientists and mathematicians at Noel decided to reunite. By the summer of that year, the scientists had discovered applications for all of the mathematicians' speculations, and the mathematicians were able to find the logical flaws in the scientists' trials, tests, and experiments. That summer was one of the most productive periods in scientific, mathematic, and technological advancements at NOL, and the scientists and mathematicians decided that for the good of humanity, they should always work together in order to be united.